Um, hello, uh, this is my second video. Oh, hello. Ted, don't sit up with me. Um, this is my second video, and uh, this video I'm going to just be talking <coughs> a bit more about myself. Um, hope you all had a good Valentine's Day. I did. I got these love hearts, which I'm, yeah, Ted, um, which I'm currently eating because I am tired and I need a sugar rush. I've got cards and all that, lovely cards. Ted, seriously, lick my face one more time. I do. Um, yeah, but this video I'm just going to be talking about myself a bit more. i got some questions which I found on the internet, which I shall be answering. And I don't think I'll be answering them with a dog on my lap because he's annoying me a little bit now. Look at it. Look at you. But yeah, that's Ted. Right, I'll do a video with him one day. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, enjoy this video. Might as well start with these questions. Uh, my name's Will Thomas. William Thomas. William James Thomas, to be, like, fully pernickety about it all. Um, I ain't got no nicknames apart from Will, which is the obvious one. Bethan calls me Willa, like Willa, like that one. Uh, Willy Bum has been called, which, which is hilarious. Um, my birthday's 10th of July 1994. I was reaching to get a drink because I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my birthday. 10th of July 1994. Uh, place of birth. I was born in a hospital uh, where I live. Uh, Vela Glamorgan. I was born. Hospital. 10th of July, 1994. That's where I was born. Star sign is cancer. I I don't listen to star signs. I think they're all bollocks. Uh, crap. Rubbish. Mm, don't, mm. Shouldn't swear. Don't swear, Will. But yeah, cancer, if anybody cares. Uh, occupation. I'm a student currently. Um... Yeah, hair colour, it's for there, best feature, uh, I don't know, my glasses probably, mainly because I can take them off, no I don't know, yeah, best feature I'd probably say my glasses, <laughs> not a very handsome guy, maybe my eyes, I've got a nice eyes, like they pop, you know, pop. right, this is all my firsts, and I won't be talking about that first, if you, yeah, filthy, um, first best friend. My first best friend was Chris Jones back in primary school. Start there, yeah. Chris Jones. Uh, first award. I won Boots, uh, Beautiful Baby Award from the Cut and Taff. So I was technically the most beautiful baby around in 1994. Booyah! In your faces if you're from Rom Cut and Taff. I was a sexist baby. Beautiful baby. <laughs> uh, uh, first sport was rugby. I started off as mini juniors, Pontypridd RFC rugby, touch rugby. Little Barbar I was running around, not knowing what I was doing. Carried that on for a while actually. I was quite good at it, but I had to quit because I broke my ankle. I wouldn't have made it anyway, like internationals, but like probably could have kept it going. Uh, first holiday, Disneyland. Yeah, we were going to Disneyland Paris when I was like four. Don't remember it because I was like four. But yeah, that was my first holiday, I believe. Uh, my first concert. Hmm. I think it was Full Ponty or whatever. Ponty Big Weekend. I went to see Feeder. If you know who Feeder are, leave a little comment. Because. I like you because Feeder are a brilliant band and more people should know them because they have got some great songs like Buck Rogers. People should know Buck Rogers. Listen to Buck Rogers. Search Buck Rogers. I'm going to say Buck Rogers one more time because I love Buck Rogers. Um, favourite film is the first one. <clears throat> Does anyone really have a favourite film? If you have a favourite film, like leave a comment because I can't pick one. I love a variety of different films. My favourite superhero film, I'm going to have to say Dark Knight. Yeah, The Dark Knight, because Heath Ledger in that film is booyah. But Avengers Assemble is a great film as well. But if it's just like a film which most people haven't watched, I've got them up here. Where are they? Where are you? Right. These, these, these. Shawshank Redemption. Right? Green Mile. If you haven't seen those films, what are you doing in your life? What? Great films, watch them. I don't really have a favourite film. A list would be Dark Knight. Avengers Assemble, Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
favorite TV show? Mm, I'm going to have to go Walking Dead. I'm going to go Walking Dead. Because that's it. I, I love it. I love zombies. I love <coughs> the acting. It's booyah. Story, booyah. Walking Dead. Watch that if you don't watch it. Good film. A good film, TV. Good TV show. Song. Right, who has favorite songs? If you have a favorite song, please tell me. I've got a bunch of favorite songs. Um, Metallica, Nothing Else Matters. That's, me. That's probably people going... Oh my god, he likes rock, but listen to that song, it's really nice. Um, Goo Goo Doll Virus is. Uh, I got I loads of songs, loads of songs I love. Like, I can't put my finger on one. Restaurant. Be easy to say Nando's, wouldn't it? Like, everyone loves a Nando's. But I'm gonna go by a place up close where I am, up in Cardiff called the Mint and Mustard, they do, it's an Indian uh, restaurant, and it is lovely, like, the tikka masala is my word, Ah, oh, nice, so, yeah, Mint and Mustard, favourite shop, I'm assuming clothes shop, they mean, so I'm going to say Burton's, because everything I wear is from Burton's, this is from Burton's, these are from Burton's, they're covered in filth at the moment, but these are from Burton's, you throw them from Burton's. From Burton's. So yeah, Burton's. Love Burton's. They do nice clothes. Um, M M book. <clears throat> Sadly, I don't read many books, but one of my favourite books is this. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Diane. How smart is your dog with a pig with some glasses on? Mine sat over there. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Not very smart. So, yeah, but this, this book is quite good. To read a book which I'd like to read, like, which is a good read, I'd say James Herbert, The Fog? Is it The Fog or The Mist? Yeah, The Fog. It's not for children. Don't read it to your kids at bedtime because it's full of sex, violence, and death. But, good horror story. Love it. Good book. I could read it over and over again. Uh, I think these are just like, how you feel in, in general. I got some love art. I fancy some. See what love art. Can't get into them. Like, can't like, rip into them. What to say? Can you see that? Bad boy. Bad boy. Mm. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Dream girl. For all the special ladies out there. I can't believe I said that. I'm going to edit that out. Right, where are they? Currently feeling. Very well. Good. Happy. Tired. Good. But nothing to complain about. All is good. Single or taken. The majority of people watching this video now know I am taken um, with a certain YouTuber called Beth and Horton. I, uh, she she got me all my subscribers, so thank you, Beth. Future children, do I want children? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm good with kids. So, and I've always wanted. Yeah, it's, it's strange for boys to think about stuff like that. Like, if I know some don't, but I do. Like, I, I look forward to having a family, like, settle down and all that. Yeah, I want kids. Married, yes. I look forward to being married like a woman. I've planned my wedding dress. Like, what song I'm going to dance? <laughs> what song I'm going to walk down the aisle? No, but yeah, I do want to get married one day, yeah. Career. My dream is to be on BBC Radio 1, hosting The Breakfast Show. So, if BBC are watching this, hook me up, you know. I'll leave my details down below in the crotch box. Uh, yeah, I want to I wanna be radio. I, I'm on radio every weekend on Tequila Radio, Sunday, 2 to 4. If you follow me on Twitter and Facebook or whatever, I, I give the links out. But yeah, I'm on radio, student radio at the moment. If that doesn't work, I'll probably be a barrister or a lawyer, because that's what I'm actually training to be at the moment. Yeah, where do I want to live? Right here, please. I I like Ponty. 
Obviously, if I get a job in BBC Radio 1, I'll have to move to London. Um, I don't mind. I don't want to live in a city, though, because busy and... Uh, I want to move there. I want to live like out in the country because I like that type of stuff. So I can get a dog, not like you, not you. Like, I want Labradors, like free Labradors, like a black one, a yellow one. Not a yellow, Golden Retriever Society. That one, and like a... Whatever colours they come in. Let's go for orange. Black, yellow, orange. That's what I'm, I want. Free Labradors, live in the countryside. That's my plan for life. Got a problem with it. Meh. Yeah, time to finish up now. Uh, this is my, do I believe it? Um, do I believe in God? I, I'd like to. Honestly, I would, but I, I just don't know, really. And if I don't know, I can't really put my faith in it. Like, I need proof. Like, bang. There is your proof that God exists. There's more proof that there's science. There's no... There's more proof that science is true. Like, is it everywhere? No, I don't believe in God. If you do believe in God, I respect that totally. And, you know, nothing against anyone who's got faith. Because, res- yeah, I do respect that, but I just don't. But if you do have faith, and you shove it down my throat, I might have to punch you in the face, because that's disrespectful. And I'm not going to believe in your religion if you stop me on the street and scream in my face the fact that I'm going to hell because I'm a, no- I'm a non-believer. That shit don't fly with me, bro. Don't like it. But no, I, I, I can't say I do believe in God, no. Do I believe in miracles? No, don't believe in miracles. I believe in luck. I believe you can be very lucky. I don't believe you can be have a miracle. But no, sorry, no miracles. No. Do I believe in love at first sight? I can go for yeah, but you don't know what time, do you? Or do you? You might see someone and be like, oh my god, like, oh. But no, I not so maybe. Yeah, yes, I do. I believe in love at first sight. I do believe. Um, but I don't, I don't know if you know that you've experienced love at first sight until, like, further on down the line. I don't know, don't really explain myself, but yeah, basically yes I do. Do I believe in ghosts? Yes I do, I believe in ghosts. There's more proof that ghosts exist than there is that there's a god. Like, there's out there, just look on YouTube. Most of it's fake, yeah, I know, but, I, yeah, ghosts, I believe in. I don't think they're all there to creep you out, though, I think. Nice ghosts. Nice. Do I believe in aliens? I think is phys- is like not physically. I think it's impossible for the amount of infinite space like up there, not in my attic, like in space. There's so much unexplored territory for there not to be any other form of intelligent life. So yes, I think aliens are definitely real. I don't think they, they, they're like the scary ones you see in movies. I think they look normalish. I don't think they're all that bothered about coming to find us, to be honest, because who wants to see us? Like, Susan Boyle and Jed Wood are like two of the main people we've got to show for our sad excuse of world. And Justin Bieber. Um, soulmates. I, I, yes, I believe in soulmates. I believe there's somebody out there for everyone. I stick by that, and I believe everyone in their life will find them. I just don't think they realise it most of the time. Which is sad. But, yeah, I do believe there's somebody out there for everyone. Do I believe in heaven? I believe that they... Somewhere we go when we die. I can't say I don't believe in God and then say I believe in heaven, because that's a bit... But I don't like the fact that if you die, that's it. I think something happens after life. Well, ten months ago. Um, yeah, I, I do believe in heaven. And therefore, I believe in hell. I believe there's something where bad people go. With heaven, I believe that if you're just good in general, I don't know if you have to believe in religion or anything, but if you're just a genuinely nice person and you do no wrong in your life, I believe you'll go to heaven. But what heaven's like? Who knows? No proof. Um, kissing on the first date. I, yes, I believe in kissing on the first date. It's just do what you feel is right, isn't it? Isn't it? If you want to kiss them, you go for it. Um, do whatever you want. Just, you know, I won't judge you. I won't judge you. But kissing on the first date, I think, yeah, that's cool. If you go out on the first date expecting to get a kiss, then that's not the right way to go about it. 
But if it happens, it happens. But yes, kiss on the first day I believe in. And finally, do I believe in myself? Well, somebody asked you. So yes, if you don't believe in yourself, who will believe in you? you go, that's my video, and um, I'm going to do a quick mention. As I did tweet saying, if you, are, if you retweet my video, I will mention you in my next one. So I'm going to say thank you to Janoski and Forever, which is at Sarah Jones 2000, and Kristen Patamore at Kate Patamore for retweeting my video, which I tweeted. Um, if you retweet my video, I'll mention you in the next video. That's, that's the way it's going to go. So yes, thank you those two. I'll put their links in the crotch box because I'm very thankful for them doing that. Uh, but yeah, that's my video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't know what next what my next video will be. But if you've enjoyed it, please like it. Please share it with your friends. Tweet it. Um, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Ask me a question. Ask FM. Comment. You know the jazz. Just get with it, people. Come on. And yeah, if you retweet my video, I will talk. I will give you a shout out in the next video and put your links in my next video. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Love you a lot. To the pip. I'm gonna finish by saying this. True lips, mum.